what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Hello villagers, this is Gadget Fire 3 and in case you didn't know, Dead by Daylight made a dating simulator. And well, first before I start, there's possible seizures up ahead. So, if you uh, have seizures um, from any flashing images, do not uh, click on this video because I don't actually know for sure. But a new game, because I have not played this yet. I only got the- okay, what should they- you know what? Fuck it, I'll just put in Scott. That's gonna be so weird because they're gonna be talking directly at me. Oh, and today, in case you guys didn't notice, I am not recording with what I usually record with because I'm having a little problem with it. Um, this is a full screen game and uh, the windowed mode sh is shit because all it is is all enter and you know, usually forces it into windowed mode. But, I'm using OBS right now, which I'm hoping I can edit with another editing software. And now it's gonna load forever, isn't it? And I'm not kidding, hold on. I'll, I'll bring something up that usually is on stream. Hi! Yep, that was me. That was, that was me. Which maybe I should do that more often, I don't know. Now we're on the beach. <coughs> okay, hold on, wrong button. You wake up on the beach, soaking wet, salt water stinging the inside of your throat as if you'd nearly drowned. Probably did. Water falls from your mouth as you open it to gasp for air. You have no memory of how you got here. In fact, you can only remember your own name, but not where you came from or a single fact about your life. What you do know is that despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. <coughs> Wow, really went down the wrong pipe, huh? <laughs> you need a minute, or can I go on? Because I can give you a minute. We've got endless time around. Hold on, I was not expecting this to be a comedy because it's based off of a horror game. An eternity if you catch my drift. Whoa, not now, Ocean. Sorry, Scott, may I continue? <laughs> Please, go on. Okay, then, as I was... <coughs> Wait, what? You look down at your feet, ankle deep in the crystal blue water of a newly arrived ocean. As the water recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grotesque discovery. Whoa! Oh, here's the flashing. Oh my god, I have a... Okay, whatever. A decomposing face stares up at you from beneath the sand. All you can do is vomit a stream of dark bile, bugs, worms, and other ick. Questions race through your mind. Where are you? How did you get here? Who's behind this incredibly charming and then well-spoken voice in your head? However, answers don't come easy. Your mind is completely blank. Except for the voice. What will you do? What will I do? Dig up that face. Duh. Wow, that's creepy. You press the sand away from the half-buried human head embedded in the ground before you. Hold on, if you like. Oh, jeez, a coin. Can I... Can I take the coin? There's nobody, just this head. As you pick it up, flex the skin and fall to the ground. The jaw falls open, revealing a gold coin sitting on the rotten tongue of this poor dead soul. Getting your hands dirty, I see I like that. You're a take charge type. Whoa. Wait, I've played Dead by Daylight before, so... But I don't know what this is. Shit, you know what I just realized? Hold on. You guys can't see my cursor. Yes, capture cursor. Thank you. Now I think you guys can see my cursor. You examine the gold coin briefly, happily distracted from what has otherwise been an extremely confusing morning. Hold on, I get it. Yep. I mean, for a game like this, you need the cursor. The sun beats down on you, drying your clothes. You check your pockets, but they're empty. Plenty of room for a gold coin, you suppose, and so you deposit it. Why, that's a nice coin you've got there. What if you were to spend it right now? Oh, why not? Well, why not? Well, hello there, I'm Dwight. And I'm Claudette. We'll take that. Claudette quickly relieves you of your gold coin and tosses it to Dwight, who bites down on it like an old-time prospector. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. And this is for you. Oh my god. 
Claudette presents you with a tropical drink out of a skull, a glass skull, so it's not real. When you take a sip, you find that it's incredible, money well spent in your estimation. But I gotta ask, could somebody maybe design the next one of these dating sims to be all inclusive? It really takes some of the fun out of a fantasy vacation to be watching your wallet the entire time. Yeah, thank, uh, thank them for the delicious drink. Thanks for the drink, it's quite delicious. You're welcome! Did somebody just thank us? Go with it, Dwight. It's normal to be thanked for doing a good job. Trust me on this one. Your mind doesn't have a chance to linger any longer in your current situation as you feel something soft bump into your foot. It's a... Oh my god, it's Wilson! You can tell by the hand. When you look down, you find a volleyball sitting in the sand there next to you. You stare down frozen and a voice calls out from behind you. Uh, little help, please! You turn around and when you see what's waiting for you, your jaw just about hits the ground. Ha! Oh, why did they make her so hot? What's the point? What's the point of making... Oh, it's a dead sim, that's right. Okay, can... Can I skip this? Do I have to look through all of these killers? Like, isn't that a trapper or something? I can't remember, but that's the one that I really hate. Four gorgeous monsters stand halfway between you and a well-tended volleyball court. Okay, I have to remember to keep an eye on the time. Each of them oozes with undead energy, a magical aura reaching out and penetrating you via your eyes. Fucking bugs. Your heart begins to race. Curiosity, fear, desire. You can't help but stare at these casually dressed, let's call them killers. I don't know, not to be judgmental, but that's just the energy they put out there. So many competing feelings rush through your mind at once that you are completely paralyzed. Hello? There are weird days and then there's this. All you can do is look down at the ball and back up at this monstrous lineup of, okay, I'm missing words. Well, literal monsters, sexy ass monsters, <laughs> of course. What do you do? Uh, you bend down and grab the ball. It's warm from sitting in the sand on this beautiful day. When you give the ball, toss it arcs beautifully through the air and lands right in Huntress's hands. Not bad, stranger. Huntress's muscles ripple as she grips it in her hand. You look her up and down and consider what it might be like to be held tightly in those strong arms. Warm, perhaps. Maybe a little sweaty, but that's okay. It's natural. Try hard much? Blech. They're speaking directly to you, but you still can't bring yourself to reply. You're entranced. When you snap out of it, you realize that everyone has gone back to the volleyball court. Alone again, you look across the beach at these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth, happily ignoring your intrusion onto their private beach. Should you be frightened? Worried? Excited? I did refer to them as colors, not to give too much away. Oh, yeah. Fucking... Why can't flies get out of my room, please? But at the same time, damn, they are... Oh, fuck. They, they are looking very appealing in their own way, and nobody so much as lifted a blood-soaked finger in your direction. Don't be scared, Scott. You were made for this. Well, geez, if the spooky ocean voice says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all going to work out. With no good reason not to, you decide to head over and see what happens next. It seems like you've derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. You derailed the game just by showing up, nitwit! And I guess you're also a nitwit. Look, it's best just to, to just go with, the tr with what the trapper says when he says it. That's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who always seems to have fresh blood on their heads. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill this bug. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all just a game. Existence, that is. Besides, you seem a lot more interesting than a silly game. What's your deal? What brings you here? You mean they're here to do more than distract from my total domination? <sighs> that was Wraith. That sign means he was done with the game, too. Either that or he saw a butterfly or something. Look, I don't care why the slack-jawed moron is here. I just want to know, can I kill them or not? You know you can't. At least not yet. Oh yeah, not yet. Hey Scott, you might want to, you know, say something. Actually, never mind, there will be plenty of time for that soon enough. Right now, this group has some questions for you. But be warned, answer quickly and answer well. This is a time quiz and it will be very important later, very important. Or not important in any way whatsoever. Probably that one, I can't remember. 
How attractive would you say you are? Average. I'm pretty average, I think. Just another... F I forgot. That's the spirit. Just another face in the crowd. Another normal meaning is life in an endless cycle. I think... I think you're quite cute myself. Like a chipmunk or a grizzly bear. If... If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Super strength. Super strength would be cool. Strength isn't all about muscles. True strength is up here. The expect Trapper to point. You expect Trapper to point to his head, but instead he taps one of his bulging sh shoulders. It's specifically in these muscles. Nobody gives a shit about your calves. What was your best subject in school? Uh, history. History? Nice. It's important to know what came before so that we are not doomed to repeat humanity's mistakes. I mean, we will anyways, but still. Holy shit, that could be. What's your favorite animal? Um, I don't know what that is, bird. Mousselet's 100%. Be honest, you have no idea what a mousselet is, and you're just hoping it's some secret answer that results in a hilarious Easter egg, right? Because there is no Easter egg. It's just another word for fairs and stuff like that. <laughs> what is your favorite color? Uh, three-day-old corpse. Nobody would expect me to pick this, so I'm going to say three-day-old corpse. That's a pretty edgy answer, right? I'm pretty dangerous. I talk about corpses. No biggie. Those are no good to me unless they've been frozen. You'd be surprised by how quickly good meat can spoil. Or maybe you wouldn't be surprised. I'm still getting to know you. What's your dream job? Uh, definitely a nightclub promoter. Everyone groans, and let's be honest, they're right to do so. Luring folks into the dark? Not just anyone can do that. Best flavor of ice cream? Horseflesh. Horseflesh? Mmm, horseflesh. I mean, uh, ocean sounds. <laughs> My favorite flavor is pain. Same. Same here. Oh, wait, that one was that one, right? Mine is vanilla swirled with pain. I think mint chip is the greatest flavor I ever conceived myself, but enough about ice cream, am I right? Hold on a second, this reminds me, I am right. Always, it's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Pick mint chip. We're teaching lessons now, narrator? You rascal. Kill or be killed is the rule on this island, even for faceless voices. Tell me, what's the best flavor of ice cream? The best flavor is mint chip. So obedient. I think you're gonna do just fine. Anywho, now that we know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants you to start getting to know them. I'm Trapper. I pretty much run things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. I don't like losers. If you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Wraith. Hi, I'm Wraith. Uh, I'm not like everyone else. <laughs> I like nice people and loathe big dumb idiots. Hey, what's up? I'm Spirit. I don't like most things. I don't really hate most things either, it's not worth my time, but the things I do hate, I really hate, you know? Based on my personal observations, life is nothing but suffering, and society is a carefully calculated lie to keep everyone subservient to those in power. It's better to choose to just not take part. Wow, fuck. Jesus, like she was downright murdered by society, she hates it so much. <laughs> Maybe she was, I don't know. Oh no, wait, I'm remembering Spirit's story now, and that's almost exactly- <laughs> That is- Hey, hey, I'm Huntress. Don't let these bombers get you down. There's lots of fun to be had on this island, along with lots of love. Yeah, uh, yeah, there is, if you know what I mean, wink, wink. Grow up. Grow a body. I've explained this a thousand times. I'm dead, but I'm not a literal ghost. I just created a trail of fog. I'm not made of it. <laughs> Whatever, fog body. That's not nice. He's not nice. You love it. Only sometimes. You really? That's disgusting. That's why she likes it. Don't speak for me. I also hate it. Stop speaking entirely, actually. For the first time ever, I agree with Wraith. Let's move on. Otherwise, they'll do this all day. Besides, if I know this crew, and I do, they'll want to show off soon enough. <laughs> if we're done playing, let's do something else instead. Well, for once, I actually agree with the meathead. I say we go to my yacht. It's a massive boat dock nearby. I'll give everyone a taste of true luxury and power. Wraith rolls his eyes as he should. Don't mind him. He just hates fun and happiness. 
No, I hate the endless, desperate, soul-crushing pursuit of wealth. The way it's flaunted needlessly and the cruelty it en engenders. What the fuck is this? What about hang out, hanging out by the pool? I find the water calming, simple, beautiful. Hey, what about our volleyball game? We can exercise and have some fun as a group. Are you all serious? There's perfectly good lounge to chill out right here. I'm tired, and besides, I hate being in the sun. Where do you want to go? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess the beach. I hate that I interrupted your game. You should finish it. He yay! I uh, yay! I love to play outdoors. I also love to meet new people. I also love to bring them home to play. I'm sort of a big kid at heart. Obviously, you are too. I like you already. I hate people who are too serious. They ruin everything. Well, they do if you don't handle them swiftly. Hold on! For just one moment! This is Dwight and Claudette, our activities coordinators. They're also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and every other job. They're the only help remaining on the island. This place we call Murderer's Island. Cue dramatic musical flourish. And none of the others survived. I am. Survived the interview process, I mean. Hence why we shall here to... Here to four? What? Whoa, I've never heard that before. Referred to them as survivors with a capital S. These two have worked here a long time. So very long, I don't actually know how long it's been. Same here, bud. Sorry. Anyway, I should probably let Dwight and Claudette do their mandated jobs. They sure look happy, but they're vibrating with a nervous energy that is starting to give me the creeps. We will now escort the group to the venue of your choosing. However, in the future, we recommend waiting... Well, it's two different people, but I don't have a different voice for her. Waiting for us to present you with your options whenever possible, and don't just run off to various activities unsupervised. We don't have much autonomy around here. The least you can do is allow us to do our job. The most you could do is help us get off the side... Dwight! Yes, pardon me. Please follow us. Hey, narrator. Yes, something I can help you with? Those two, Claudette and Dwight, did they just start to mention something about wanting to escape? Is escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape? Them? Oh, no, 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 no. I think you're mistaken. It, it seemed like Dwight was asking for help to get off this island, though. Oh, right, that. Yes, that's true, he was, but he just meant that he wants to get to the other vacation island getaway, a couple miles south of here. It has much fancier accommodations than this island. It's one of those big corporate outfits, quite exclusive, where all the famous celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. It doesn't quite have the charm that this island has, though. Trust me, you wouldn't want to go there. With all that money comes a lot of restrictions. This is where you belong. Now, now, off you go. It's time for an activity. On this island, your decisions matter mostly. When I agree with them, not like that other island. So what it'll be? Okay. Finally, freedom from the preposterous premise that the four of us would be engaged in some sort of thrilling Q on two volleyball match. Spirit looks at you from beneath her gigantic sun hat. She takes a conspiratorial tone. I don't know whose idea of volleyball was in the first place, but I, I hate them. I tried to feign a sprained ankle, but everyone already knows that I technically float above the ground, so nobody believed I was even putting any pressure on my joints in the first place. Then I tried to annoy everyone, but not give them crap, and when that didn't work, I tried whining, and when that didn't work, I threatened to kill every single person on this island! But it turns out I'm not the first to toss those kind of threats around on this island. So, thanks, I guess, for getting it called off. Are we threatening to end each other again? <laughs> now it's Dwight who takes on a conspiratorial tone, his eyes shifting as he slips into a loud whisper. Please, just make it quick! Is what you'll be saying when we get behind the bar to make you the drink of your dreams. Oh shit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> there is. Right, 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 Dwight? Yeah, right, right. Uh, so, what will you be having? Vodka, soda, sangria, scotch on the rocks, virgin, virgin daiquiri, I guess. I don't know. I, I'm not really a drinker. I'm not old enough yet. I didn't come here to party. I'm just trying to make the best of a very strange situation. I don't know. How about a daiquiri? <coughs> I know how to make that, but skip the liquor. I'll have mine virgin. Trapper snickers at your choice of words. Sure you will, kid. Don't mind him. We don't need to soak ourselves in booze just to please someone else's expectations. If you ask me, there's enough spirits here already. Besides, alcohol just numbs you to the painful realities of the world. I choose to face them head on. 
You'd never do something like that. I don't know. Hide from it all behind the world's largest hat or anything. Please allow me to ignore any fashion advice from the man wearing a doll's face as a mask. Not a doll's face, jerk. Since we've fulfilled your request, it's time for you to return the favor. I should have known there was a catch. Icebreaker time. I swear, had I known they'd pull this kind of full enthusiastic community building crap, I'd have suggested we attempt to walk to the lowest point of the ocean before I ever set foot near this bar. You don't think it could be kind of fun? A, a little fun? Never mind, I hate it. This sucks. But it could be fine, or whatever you say. Has anyone seen my hat? I've literally never seen him in a hat. If we must make small talk, I'll, I'm at least picking a topic before we end up being forced to do some lame improv game that nerds learn at the non-sports after school activities. But I definitely never did because I'm no nerd. Methinks a certain someone doth protest too much. Sitting here on this beautiful sunny afternoon, warm sand beneath the cool fog beneath my severed feet. The topic I choose is books, novels, comics, fiction, or non. Reading is the only real escape from the inescapable horror of life, the escape into your own mind. Holy fuck. Grown rolls for the crowd. Not a lot of readers here, I'd imagine. Based on that response, they were much more enthusiastic about drinking. Considering the situation we're in, it seems an appropriate time to ask you. Scott, what's your desert island, desert island book? Not desert island. God damn it. The one book you'd bring with you if you were, well, on an island like this. Oh, and it has to be classic horror for reasons that should be obvious. Okay, well, I've never read a horror story, I don't think. She means because this is an island of horror villains, and also those books are all in the public domain. Ha, <laughs> nice! Oh! Classic. Nothing too modern. Humanity has really gotten soft these past hundred years, so what's your favorite? Oh, okay. Oh, public domain! I see. That makes more sense. Dracula, Frankenstein, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, because it's obvious, you know, it's easy and I know it. You know, I really enjoyed the story of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I've always felt like I had this other person living inside me. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? Sounds like a fun one. I love good story about friendship, but I can't read. Not because I'm dumb. I never actually learned to read because I was too busy learning to survive with nothing more than my own strength and cunning. Same reason I didn't have a best friend that wasn't more than just a rock with a face that drawn in it and dried blood. Until we meet again, Roxanne. <clears throat> Huntress looks out toward the horizon and there's a moment of silence among the group. <laughs> Will you uh, tell it to me sometime? I might not be able to read books by myself, but I love reading too, especially when somebody does all the voices. Oh, fuck. It's not really a story about friendship exactly, but who cares? Of course I'll tell it to you. It's quite a thrilling tale. Not just anybody can pull off quality narration all the time. Take it from me. You don't need to read. You could just make it up and it'll still be fun. Sometimes when I find myself in an abandoned house, I like to look at the photos on the wall and come up with little stories to go with the pictures. It's a fun game we could play together. <coughs> abandoned house? Why are they abandoned? Hunter just giggles and gives you a playful little wink. I don't know. Usually when I find folks who abandon them, they're not in the mood to tell me much. Enough about these old stories that belong to someone else. I think it's time to make up some new stories of our own. Okay. Let me see if there's a save function. Yes, there is. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Okay. So, if you like this video, leave a like. Comment down below if you want to see more. <clears throat> and what you want me to do next, subscribe if you're new. And may the odds be ever in your favor.